Hey guys, welcome to yet another exciting video. I know I've been gone for quite some time since the last time that I uploaded a video, but I was away for the right reasons. But anyway, before I even begin this video, I would like to take this opportunity to thank each and every one of you guys for helping me reach 2,000 subscribers. When I started this channel, I didn't even think reaching 100 subscribers, let alone 2,000. So again, thank you so much. I'm very grateful for all of you guys. So in this video, I will be talking about my summer pickups. Most of these were on sale or clearance if not thrifted. So yeah, your boy is staying thrifty while looking good. So the first on the list are Prism Finder in a photo book. I know these items are not at all related to fashion but to some of you who may not know yet, I also shoot film and that's the vast majority of my content on this channel aside from fashion. I bought this finder to pair with my Mamiya RB67 so it wouldn't be hard to take photos when looking down the waist view finder because the image is reversed. So to all of my film subscribers, um, I have a video planned to test this thing out and generally just, you know, shoot with this camera because I haven't really shot with it for quite some time now. I think the last time that I was able to shoot with this camera was a year and a month ago, which is quite a while. So, and this is, this camera is definitely one of my favorite among my film cameras. Next up is this photo book. I have been wanting this photo book for a while and with my style becoming more and more inspired by the 80s and 90s, I figured it will be great to find inspiration from this photo book not only for fashion but also for when I take photos. This photo book has definitely captured some of the best music icons in the 80s and 90s and their taste in fashion during that era. So now onto the fashion pickups, I will start from head to toe and at the very end of this video, I will be showcasing on how I style some of these outfits. So to start off, I got these hats from Cabela's. I really like the earthy tones on these hats and they definitely look great during the summer. I got them for $9 each. Also if I am not mistaken, Shields is the equivalent of Cabela's in the States. These are the ones that I'm very excited to wear for the summer. It's not fairly cheap compared to the other ones that I bought in this video but I was able to get these for $100, both of them brand new as opposed to $110 each brand new and to me that's definitely a steal considering essentials can go for a really high resale price point. The colors that I got are tan and black and are both size medium. These colors will definitely look good for the summer. Also stay tuned as I plan to make a separate video just on how I style polo shirts. Next up I got a few Carhartt and North Face tees which I bought fairly cheap because I got them clearance and I bought them larger than my usual size to achieve that oversized look and fit. I bought three colors of the Carhartt. I got white, black, and gray to keep it simple and easy to pair with anything. I got these in a size medium. I bought it, I believe, from Simons. These North Face tees are definitely a steal because I got them for like $7 a piece, I think. And knowing the quality of North Face, it's definitely top notch. I love the softness of these tees and the simplicity of the design. These are in size large. These Nike crew necks are definitely trendy right now and I was surprised honestly to find them at my local Nike outlet store and was able to purchase them at a cheaper price point. Because these crew necks are sold out online and they are quite expensive too at $50. I bought these for $25 each. These will be perfect for those cold summer nights. I was able to thrift this Lee jeans. Lee is definitely one of the staples of jean makers next to Levi's and Wrangler. I grew up seeing these type of jeans on my dad. And looking back now, I am actually wondering if my dad still has some of his pairs because those pairs would definitely look good right now after all these years. 
I thrifted these sweats as well at the same time as the Lee jeans. Also, these sweats are fairly thin due to the wears that it got, but still thick enough for those cold summer days. I already have a white pair but it doesn't hurt to get another pair. I like the minty blue color of this pair which definitely looks good for the summer. I got this for $20 on eBay. I was completely sold wearing this with sweatshorts. I have also seen people rock these with jeans and workwear pants which I can definitely switch up to. so that's pretty much it for my summer pickups on a budget and i say on a budget because i try to always look good without breaking the bank something that will definitely serve you well in the long run also, I have an in-depth video on my go-to summer outfits where I will be featuring some of the items that I picked up in this video, so stay tuned for that. And generally, I have more videos lined up for all of you guys, both film and fashion. So again, I just would like to reiterate that I am definitely grateful for all of you guys for helping me reach 2,000 subscribers. And until next time, stay safe. Peace. A pretty little Bobby playing with me, time I got you, you do. Girl, you hold me, oh so softly, and you feed me, and you watch me, you do.